private emails are back in the news this week after multiple news reports disclosed that at least six advisors to President Trump have used them to discuss government business. Of course, Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server was one of the most frequent points of attack for the Trump campaign in the 2016 election. People have been, their lives have been destroyed for doing one fifth of what you've done. And it's a disgrace. And honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. This is bigger than Watergate. This is bigger than Watergate, in my opinion. It's a serious matter. And we commend the FBI for reopening the case and following the facts, because in America, no one is above the law. Joining me now to discuss these latest revelations is Richard Painter. He served as the chief ethics lawyer for President George W. Bush. Richard Painter, welcome back to the program. We should say that an investigation uh, by the Justice Department was closed with regard to Hillary Clinton's uh, use of a private email server. But now, with regard to this new information, what does the law say about the ability of people working in the White House to use their own private email accounts? Well, the, they uh, are not supposed to. That's a violation of the White House policy going back to the uh, Clinton administration in their White House staff manual. And in our uh, staff manual, we made it clear, I made it clear to the Bush uh, White House that you're not supposed to do it. But people did. A number of political people were using Republican National Committee email. and. Uh, we got in trouble for that, got a lot of grief from the House Oversight Committee over that, and there was a big flap. Uh, none of it was criminal. No one brought in the FBI. Uh, and then Hillary Clinton made the same mistake, had her own personal email server, and I think that was a stupid mistake. It wasn't criminal. I mean, that was blown way out of proportion, the Clinton situation. Uh, some people sent some classified stuff to her, and that's one of the risks you take when you use the personal email. But, but once again, no precedent for prosecuting somebody. And uh, uh, that was foolishness to blow that, uh, that far out of proportion. I don't know why the FBI took so long with it. Uh, and now, of course, we see what's happening in the Trump administration. It's the same thing. It's, uh, it, it's a foolish thing to do. Uh, this is not something that calls for criminal investigation, but really is atrocious that we went through a whole election season trying to make a, a high crime or something out of what Hillary Clinton had done with her email, which everybody else in the administration was well aware of because they were receiving emails from her on the personal server. It, it's a very bad idea. They shouldn't be doing it, but we shouldn't be accusing people of crimes and saying, lock her up. And, these political rallies where they're screaming and yelling as if they were in Nuremberg, Germany in 1933 or something. I mean, it really is embarrassing for our country how far the, the Rich, thing has been taken. Richard Painter, remind us why these rules are in place, saying to government officials, White House officials, that they should not use their private account. Well, there are two problems. One is you could lose the records, and the Presidential Records Act require the records to be retained. Now, since 2014, uh, Congress amended statute is now required that if you do use another account, you must copy an official United States government account so the record is retained, and that was after the Clinton episode. Uh, that's one problem. The second problem is that someone might send you something that is classified. It's very foolish to send somebody something that's classified. Uh, it never crossed my mind that that would have happened in the case of Carl Rove's email or any of the email uh, uh, situations we had in the Bush White House where personal right. or Republican National Committee emails used. But that's a big risk that you take if you are doing official business on the personal email server. You, the point you're making, among others, is that this is not a criminal act. It's not a, a legal problem. But it, so, given that, how serious are these disclosures? Do you think? I think it shows a continuing disregard for uh, for standards of uh, good judgment in this administration. Uh, there are there is evidence of some serious crimes in this administration: obstruction of justice and lying about contacts with the Russians that I'm a lot more worried about than Jared Kushner's email. But once again, I, I think that the, uh, the attacks on Clinton, particularly after the election uh, and what happened at that rally in Huntsville, Alabama last week, uh, and that, that's a fundamental threat to our democracy. 
And we ought to be thinking about that uh, and the totalitarian rhetoric rather than worrying about the email. Well, and you're referring, of course, to the investigation uh, to acts, alleged acts that are under investigation by the special counsel, uh, Robert Mueller. It looks, Richard Painter, as if this new information has come out because uh, Mr. Mueller and his team are asking the White House to turn over all communications all the documents they have that could in any way be connected to this Russia investigation. If it weren't for that, do you think it's possible this could have stayed uh, uh, secret for a long time? Oh, it could have. I mean, as I say, we've had people using the personal email in prior administrations. No matter how many times the ethics lawyers tell them not to do it, they go ahead and do it. Uh, and uh, despite all of these risks, uh, but uh, I have to say, once again, on the scale of things, this is not uh, the big deal in terms of uh, potential criminal activity in this administration. I think the sheer hypocrisy of it uh, is important to note. Uh, but once again, I don't think hypocrisy is anything new in politics, and certainly not for this administration. But the Mueller investigation is... Uh, uh, I think going to uncover a lot. Uh, they have consistently lied about collaboration with the Russians, and that's clear they were collaborating with the Russians. We just need to find mm -hmm. out whether that was legal or illegal. Now, if they're using personal email, by the way, to cover up illegal activity, uh, that's a whole nother ball game. But uh, we don't know at this point that that's what they were doing. And again, all that's under investigation. But just finally, do you think this should be covered by a law, that it should be against the law to use private email communications once someone works in government at, a, at, a, at any level? I think we, we should probably tie up the law even further. Uh, in 2014, after the Clinton episode, they did require you to copy the government email, so that is the law. It's not a criminal law, once again, uh, but it is the law, and that's what uh, uh, they are supposed to do. And I hope that these uh, six people did that and copied the uh, United States government email at the time they sent the email. Uh, but we perhaps ought to tighten up the law even further. Uh, although I, you know, I continue to emphasize that the, the, e the whole email thing for the past uh, couple of years has been turned into a lot bigger deal than it really ought to be. Richard Painter, thank you for joining us once again. Thank you.